Yeah, yeah! Shout out to you. Shout out to all the legends in the house. You heard that echo? I'm a 007 agent. I'm a 007 agent for not doing a proper sound check. But guess what? We're here. Let me know if the sound is horrible, if the sound is not sounding. But um, the most important thing is that the Premier League is back this weekend. I I don't know if I'm so I, I'm the most excited person in the world, but it feels like it because somehow this international break just did not have enough good games to watch. There was only, as I mentioned in the previous video, there was only like three fixtures or so that were interesting. The rest was all dead wood fixtures. And ladies and gentlemen, this weekend though is going to be packed with some action. There's going to be a lot of um, changes into the Premier League table because we know the battle for that top five position gets heated and heated and heated as we get closer to the match week 38. Right now we are approaching match week 30. So before we kick off, I would like to say shout out to you for being here. If you're new to this channel, we play a little bit of a predictor game. It's called the Power Premier League Predictions. And every uh, Premier League match, we give a prediction for every fixture. There's usually 10 fixtures in a single Premier League Premier League match day. And um, you know what? We're going to go do the same for the fixtures that are coming in this weekend. So my name is Bazona Papi. This is the Football Power Hour. I'd like to say big shout out to you. For you are a legend. <laughs> Yeah, we here? Yeah, I think we're here. This is going to be very interesting this um, coming weekend because basically we have what I would like to coin the Premier League final. I know a league does not have a final, but this weekend it feels like Arsenal going to the Etihad versus Manchester City. This is going to be a, almost like a title decider. I know there's still a lot to play for, but it... Feels like it's going to be a real title decider. Before we even talk about the fixtures, by the way, I want to say shout out to the people that are in the building. Shay in the house saying, big up. Yo, Football Power Hour. You are 14, scriber, 14 subscribers away from four, 1K. Hey, that is a dream come true. Guys, 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 guys. If you're not subscribed and you're here, come on. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Big up to Imran Khan in the building. Happy Thursday. Fire, fire emojis. Thank you, Imran Khan. Bro, I'll give you my predictions for the weekend, Friday, 2 p.m. That is fine, too. Imran and anybody else that is also watching this out of the 14 people that we have tuned in on all platforms right now, it is totally fine if you want to wait uh, till after the stream to give your predictions. Listen to how we're talking about every team because players are returning from international duty and some teams are going into this weekend a little bit weakened and some teams have a little bit of an injury boost. Fortunately, Manchester United is one of those with an injury boost. We have a lot of good, 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 good players that are coming back into the into the mix. I'm talking about Mason Mount. I'm I mean... I'm talking about Lissandro Martinez. Sorry, I didn't want to mention Mason Mount first. <laughs> I said good players, right? We are yet to see what Mason Mount is going to do with a red shirt on. So um, I'll reserve that till the end of the season when we, the verdict on Mason Mount. But for now, the jury is still out. But we know for sure that we cannot do without Casemir, without um, Lissandro Martinez. We are also fortunate to have, um, I think Casemiro is going to be rested and uh, recharged 
So hopefully we see an informed Casemiro. We know that Bruno returned early from international duty, and I hope that he is also up to the business this weekend. By the way, shout out to Yale as well. Shout out to Mental Ball Game. Guys, 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 as uh, GB said, by the way, if you do not know, I've been doing this last this week and the um, if, last week and the week before. I've been doing this thing where we do videos that are about ten minutes. Kindly, kindly check them out and um, you know hit the like button, put a little emoji comment, whatever. Just help to boost the algorithm. You know what I mean? So that so that um, um, this ten minute thing can actually start here. You know, getting a little bit of a. Uh, momentum like Manchester United. <laughs> Talking about momentum, Mental Ball Game is predicting Man United is going to carry on the momentum and win 3 1 versus Brentford. Let's actually now uh, look at the teams that are playing and we'll talk about the Man United fixture towards the end. But big shout out to you, Mental Ball Game. I truly appreciate you for being here, my friend. And I hope that you have a um, you had a great week and also an even better weekend. Yale says, you are in a cave. <laughs> Yale, I know, it's kind of dark. I know, I know. I actually just, before the stream started, I just closed the curtain because there was like a whole light ray that was just so, um, you know, disturbing the, the visuals a little bit too much. So I thought dark is better than too much bright. Oh, Shay is saying they also have an injury boost. Shay, matter of fact, let me share this link. Let me share this link because I got to talk to you, Shay. You at Arsenal Football Club have a couple of 007 agents, you know. Some guys, I feel like they faked their injuries or rather came up with whatever excuse that they could come up with so that they could miss the international, um, you know, friendlies and just have this Manchester City game in mind. And I'm looking at... Um, uh players like ben white ben white obviously he refused to go um play you know both fixtures he just has a spat with um uh southgate and ha uh, um harland and um I, and I, you know i i i'm curious what is going on with ben white you know Shay, the link is in the chat. I want to talk to you about that. I want to talk to you about the rest of the Arsenal players that are coming back. We got Timber coming back. He says, I forgot you guys signed Timber, you know. <laughs> Just the same way I forgot Chelsea signed Lavia. Lavia has only played like 32 minutes and he's been a 007 agent. He's been MIA for the most of the season and I think he's going to be gone for the rest of the season. So, you know, I am curious. I'm curious what you, um, how you feel as a football fan and we are coming into the business end of the league. How do you feel your team is looking? Is it in good shape? Is it in bad shape? Let me know what you're thinking. Big shout out to you, by the way. We have more people that have just joined the stream. I appreciate you guys so, so much. I got to tell you. I also want to say shout out to the man like Shay in the house. What is that, Shay? Tears. <laughs> Who's tears? Pep Guardiola tears? Yes. Shay, 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 Shay. You got you're already drinking Pep Guardiola tears in advance. <laughs> so you I guess you're feeling very confident. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I'm confident. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm not gonna knock it. I'm not gonna knock it. I am actually gonna respect it. Here we go. Let me um put um this table up right now on the screen let me try and see how i can maximize it match day 30 this was match day 29 that's the last one that we did and now by the way shay i hear a little bit of an echo ever since you came in are you able to do the thing that you did to your um settings just to make sure that you know the echo isn't so much i don't know what you did last time but something that you did to just kind of just like, you know, you know what I'm saying, Shay? Can you hear it now? 
I can hear you. You're a little very like your volume level is very low, and and then I hear a little bit of myself after I speak too. So testing. Test that double oh seven um um <laughs> uh, sound setting that you have, by the way. Joe Blackman cannot even hear you, he says. He's like, I can't hear him. <laughs> Have anyone hit that like button yet? No, nobody can hit the like button because they can't hear you, Shay. <laughs> Try exit and come back in. Let's see if that if, if that helps. Because right now your volume is just like the Arsenal title charge. <laughs> Anyway, 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 um, shout out to Joe Blackman, by the way, powerful stream um, that you had last night, my G, incredible, congratulations on that, check out Joe Blackman's um, channel, by the way, if you haven't, subscribe to it, Backhand Entertainment, that is the logo right there on the screen, yeah, lots of very important topics that Joe talked about, all right, let me see what um, Yella says, well, there was four games that was import that was important in Europe. We now know the full setup of the Euros. True, true, true. On the on on the the international break, there was some important games actually. So, yeah, Shay is back. Let's test this sound. Shay, testing one, two, three. Like, I hear it, but like, it's so low, Shay. You've definitely been more audible. My volume's up. <laughs> your volume is down, bro. <laughs> Shay, your volume is as strong as Arsenal's title challenge. Can you hear me from here? Yeah, that's better. That's better. If you have earphones, by the way, or headphones, please, please put them on. That what she said. <laughs> Shay, you are ridiculous. Anyway. Hit, hit that like button, people. Subscribe. If you don't, you're a 007 angel. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Let's let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's go ahead and... Uh, uh, predictions on Friday. You going to give your predictions on Friday? Yeah. Shay, why why does the echo come when you come through? Hold on. Let me see. Is this better? No. I still hear the echo. Okay. Well, this is what we're going to do. I think I'm going to mute you, Shay, and only unmute yourself when you're talking, okay? There we go. I think the echo should be better when when if you're muted, Shay, you're, the echo should be better. All right, here we go. Let's let's go ahead and talk of why is there an echo here? That's what he said. <laughs> Mental <of> ball game. <laughs> Shay, Shay sounds like a fly trying to talk to a giant, says Joe. <laughs> Shay. <laughs> Yeah, like a mosquito talking to an elephant, says Joe. Um, Luchata says, I lost 75. Luchata, are you related to Tonali by any chance? How did you lose 75 US dollars in slots? Come on, Luchata. You got to stop with the gambling. <laughs> At least slow down. <laughs> slow down with it, bro. Anyway, anyway, let us let me uh, go ahead and um, open up the the this this uh thing and say all right cool tomorrow to i mean on saturday the first fixture that we see is uh newcastle versus west ham newcastle united versus west ham this is going to be interessante let's go match day 30 <sighs> see i already have my predictions for this i'm curious if you're in the chat and you want to give your prediction Newcastle versus West Ham. Uh, it's going to be interesting. Now, we know Newcastle has been in the mud. 
we know that uh, Eddie Howe is somebody that really, really, really needs a result more than anything. Right now, Newcastle is sitting on the position of che- that Chelsea usually occupies. The- Newcastle is on 10th with 40 points. I don't know how, how Eddie Howe got there because at the beginning, the first third of the season, Newcastle was like in the top four conversation, you know. They were one of the biggest surprises of the season. But right now, they find themselves in 10th. They obviously had an injury plague going on as well. Um, that is a big part of it. And they had the, the toughest group in the Champions League, group of death, group F, and they couldn't make it out of that. But... You know, that them group stages of Champions League have long been done, have long been gone. And now Newcastle really need to pick up form. It's It's been peak settings. They um, lost to Manchester City in the FA Cup quarterfinals just a few days ago. Prior to that, they were beat by Chelsea 3-2. And it's just not been looking good for Eddie Howe. And he needs a response from um, um you know, the, his his boys. So I don't know. I don't know. I feel like this is going to be a Newcastle win. Mental ball game says it's going to be 2-1. It's 2-1. Is score important, Papi, says Lutata. Yes, the score is important. The score is everything. I want to know what the score is. I want to know what the score is. Don't tell me it's just going to be a draw, Lutata. Big up to box. Box in the house. Wait, my soundboard is not on because I was trying so hard to, you know, do a little bit of a uh, uh, IT situation here. (laughs) Here we go. There, there's the air horn for Box. Big up to you, Box. Hope that you're having a lovely Thursday, my friend. R10 in the house as well says, I see another 2-2. Really? Joe says 2-0 Newcastle. Box says West Ham 2 Newcastle 2. All right, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Boxes 2, 2. I'm going to put that in there. And let's see. Mental ball games is 2-1 Newcastle. I'm going to stand with mental ball game on this one and say 2-1. No, Lutata, you put in 1-1 last time. Did you? Oh, is this from match day 29? And I just didn't delete it. Okay, it was from match day 29 because it was for Luton Town versus Forest. And Lutata, shout out to you because guess what? <laughs> the Luton Town uh, versus Forest game, it was uh, a, <laughs> a very, very uninspiring 1-1. But Lutata, and I think this was your first time giving a score prediction. And you said, oh, I'm not really good at predicting. But here you are. You got that 1-1 prediction um, match day 29 of 38. So I'm really, really going to be looking forward to your score predictions for the rest of Match Day 30. So starting with West, uh, Newcastle versus West Ham, tell me what the score is, not just it's going to be a draw. All right, all right. Let me go to... Um, let me remove the yellow because you got to earn this one. By the way, the yellow signifies three points and the gray signifies one point. One point is for the people that were... That you know that predicted the right outcome, but didn't get the exact score correct. Okay, so here we go. Now, <laughs> y'all is it? Oh, sorry, I just saw your comment about the the echo. I hope it's better now. By the way, Yale. All right, two nil Newcastle said Joe Blackman. Where is Joe? Joe is also a 007 agent, you know. He has been playing this predicted game. So just like men like Lutata, Joe, <laughs> we go make new space for you right there, Joe Blackman. You're just like Connor. Connor played this game maybe like three match days or four match days, and then he he didn't play it again. <laughs> Same as Brush and Vibes, you know. No, actually, Brush has played it more, so I have to give Brush his respect. All right, so 2-2 two, two there. Uh, Joe said two, two goals, two one. I mean two nil. There we go, two nil. Here is my what my prediction, and I'll tell you why I'm saying this prediction. All right. So when you, as I mentioned, Newcastle really need this win 
more than uh, West Ham. Of course, West Ham are in the mud, but they're not like in the deep, deep mud, if you get what I'm saying. West Ham right now, if you are curious where the hammers under David Moyer stand, they are, you know, sitting in a seventh behind Manchester United. So their impetus to win is not as heavy as Newcastle. Newcastle really need to get that stuff together. So I'm going to go with Newcastle winning it two goals to one. I don't expect them to score a lot. I, I feel like Isak might score and maybe they might get that uh, Tonali news bounce. <laughs> you know, <laughs> we know we know for sure that um, um, what's his name? Uh, Eddie Howe has been playing. Um, uh, uh, what's the kid's name? There's a there's a there's a new kid, um, uh, Miley. Is it Miley? Lewis Miley? And this guy has been kind of fitting, filling in the void for Tonali, especially he performed really well in the in the Newcastle versus PSG game in the Champions League. That was the first time I was like, hold on, hold on. no, not 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 PSG. Sorry, it was Newcastle versus um. Was it Dortmund? I think it was Dortmund. And but you know, so so that midfield might it might end up consisting of Gumarish, Longstaff, and probably um it feels like Lewis Miley is injured. Oh my goodness, he has a back injury. So it's gonna be Longstaff, Gumarish, and most likely Willock. Maybe Eddie Howe will throw in Will Joseph Willock in there. And uh that midfield I feel like should be enough to get the job done. To make it 2-1. So let me know. Let me know. If you want to give in your prediction right now. I will truly appreciate it. All right. Uh, where is Shay? Shay is gone, huh? <laughs> he couldn't figure out the, the, the echo situation. Shay, if you can, please, please, please. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, let's do. If you're not able to find uh, headphones today. Tomorrow morning, let's do uh, Arsenal versus Manchester City. 10-minute preview if you're down. Please, please let me know. All right. Um, Yale predicted a Newcastle win as well. Yale is copying me. Copycat. 2-1, says Yale. I respect it, though. Um, what are you saying? What are you saying? Uh, let me see. Who else put in that prediction? Big shout-out to Mark in the house. And please, 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 please get on YouTube and mod the team up, says Mark. What are you talking about, Mark? And please get on YouTube and mod the team up. How are you going to start your sentence with the word end? <laughs> oh, boy. Mark, 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 Mark. Jeez. All right. All right. Maybe you'll clarify that. And um, let's go to... The next fixture, which is all uh, Chelsea versus uh, Burnley. Chelsea versus Burnley. What is your prediction for that game? Chelsea, Chelsea versus Burnley. Now, <laughs> guys, what's his name? Mauricio Pochettino. He is also just like Pep Guardiola sweating because um, uh, Ben Chilwell who had not played a game. He's been coming back from a knee injury. Ben Chilwell, you know, I think the last time he started for New Car for, for, for Chelsea was early March, like first week of March, right? And then he had a knee injury that, uh, that you know, that had Mauricio Pochettino giving him very limited minutes in the Premier League to sort of just try and make sure that he rehabilitates him well. But then in the dying minutes of the game versus Belgium, England versus Belgium, Ben Chilwell took a knock on that left, uh, on, that, on that knee. And now I think he's going to be having to do some, some new scans again and to assess the, the extent of that injury. So... It's not looking good for Chelsea, but it's at the bridge. What are you saying, box? What are you saying, bots? I'm looking at myself for this one. I think I am still going to go with Chelsea, even though they don't have Ben Chilwell. I feel like Chelsea will win 2-0. It's Burnley. Burnley, Burnley can ne cannot get a win <laughs> to save their life. They're deep in the relegation zone. Only 
four wins so far out of 29 Premier League games. And that is kind of a horrible record for Vincent Company. So I do not think that he will be in the company of the Premier League next season. You see what I did there? That's a munch type of joke, you know. Um, so I feel like it's going to be 2 nil Chelsea just because Chelsea's at home. They've got that also... The fact that the momentum, as we mentioned, they beat Newcastle 3-2. So they're going to be trying to build off of that. So I'm predicting 2-0. I don't even think Cole Palmer... Is Cole Palmer around? Let me just double check Cole Palmer's situation. Chelsea's list, injury list, includes Ben Chilwell, as we just mentioned. Chukwameka Nkunku. <laughs> Unkunku, just like Urian Timber. <laughs> He's another like I'm here to like like collect this Todd Bowley money, you know. <laughs> Nkunku had so much hype. I have no idea how this guy is a you know, he's still he's still here, he's a Chelsea employee, but you know. He's had very, very few cameos for Chelsea. And the moment he's come in, you actually see the quality that he offers. But I think Chelsea have their own version of Anthony Martial. And that is Christopher Nkunku. So he'll be back, though, in April. So hopefully he comes back and then, you know, plays a few games and then he's gone again. <laughs> obviously, Levi Colwell has a toe injury. Not obviously. But he has a toe injury. He's injured. Uh, that's why he didn't feature for England. Also, Reese James, Ogochuku. Oh, Reese James, we all know he's another 007 agent. He's a Martial. If Martial was a right back, he would be Reese James. There is also Lavia, as we've mentioned. He had a heartfelt um, Instagram post that he released about three days ago. And I, I saw it and I was just like, wow, Lavia. Speaking from the heart, speaking about how he loves the club. He loves the badge of Chelsea. But I think he loves the Todd Bowley dollars more than the badge. So Chaloba is also injured and Fofana is injured. That's the Chelsea injury list, by the way. And in terms of Burnley, Aaron Ramsey is the really one big notable. And Nathan Red Redmond. Oh, yeah, they have Nathan Redmond. Word. Okay. Nathan Redmond is there at Burnley. And uh, who else do we know that's injured? There's Bayer, Koliosho, and Doug Hill. I don't know any of those guys. But that is the Burnley's injury list. Only five players injured. I think with all that considered... I'm still going with a Chelsea win. Do you agree or disagree? Chelsea 3-0, says um, Joe Blackman. All right, all right. Mental ball game. Let me see what your prediction was for the for Chelsea versus Burnley because you said 2-1 Newcastle. Let's go. Let me see. Where did I put mental ball games? 2-1 uh, Newcastle. And what is your Burnley prediction? By the way, I thought I had the right um, um, screen so you can see. Are you able? I hope you can see the thing now. I hope you can see it better. Um, let's do this. Boom. And I'm going to put the people that are here, the people that are present at the top so it's easier to navigate for me. Joe Blackman at the top. <laughs> ish mental ball game as well i'm gonna put you right here there we go all right all right what is your Ch chelsea versus burnley prediction mental ball game shout out to you and anybody that wants to participate in this game please feel free to do so it's a fun little predictor game we're just previewing match day 30 of the premier league so kindly hit the like button if you haven't done so our 10 said 2-2 two, two. Shout out to you, R10 in the house. R10 predicted 2-2 West Ham, Newcastle. All right. Munge, I know Munge, Munge usually would be here, but I think Munge has a strategy to just wait until everybody predicts and then he'll give his prediction. We'll see if it's going to work this time. I have a lot of confidence in my predictions this match day week. Okay. I intend, the maximum you can get is 30 points, 
right? 10 fixtures, three points per prediction, right? Per correct exact prediction. And I think I'm going to get 15. I'm aiming for 15. All right, let's look at Yale's prediction. That was um, Chelsea 2, Burnley 1. Yale is trying to pull off a Stephanie here. Chelsea 2, Burnley 1. All right, all right, all right, Yale. Chelsea 2, Burnley 1. And um, did I not put in your Newcastle West Ham? I'm a 007 agent for that. Uh, cause I think you said two, one, I called you a copycat and I, <laughs> I didn't put in your prediction. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, who else, who else we got, who else we got in here? Um, let me see. What is your prediction? Four, one Chelsea box. What are you smoking? Four, one Chelsea. Who's going to score the four? <laughs> what? 4-1. Okay. All right. All right. All right. We'll be there. We'll be there. We'll be there. Um, that's a solid half a billion squad, says R10. Joe says, where's the link? The link is on the chat, fam. Hold on. Let me put it again in the chat. Hold on. It is right there. All right. <laughs> Vaj needs to call up Malang Sa. Vaj reminded me of the clip that I had that I said, that said that, that, where, where it's Pochettino being reminded who Malang Sa is. He's like, who? They're like, yeah. Malang Sa, <laughs> Pochettino, one of your players <laughs> called Malang Sa. So anyway, here we go. Um... <laughs> R10, what is your Chelsea Burnley prediction? Oh my goodness, hold on. I need to catch up with these comments real quick. Okay, four goals by Palmer says Yale. We will be there. Jackson? Nicholas? Jackson what? He's going to score four? <laughs> the only way they do that is like, it's like uh, four on goals, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you are like United's defense right now, puppy. All over the place as United ball game. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm all over the place, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Now I think I think the things are calming down. I'm starting to get my uh know my way around things here. All right. Mental ball game said 2-1 Chelsea. Thank you, Joe Blackman, for for that assist. Okay. Uh and also thank you, Mark, for that assist. Mark is in the background. Thank you, Mark. All right, all right. R10, Chelsea, you said, I know, I just read it. I, I know I just read R10's Chelsea prediction. Did I? West Ham will win 3-1, says Mark. No, I'm looking for R10. R10's, where is R10's Chelsea prediction? <laughs> R10 talking. Southgate is bigger than Liverpool... FC. <laughs> Are you trying to cause trouble? Eddie Howe is bigger than England. Or better than England. Chavi. What what is this, Arten? Is this am I misreading your your, your oh is this is this oh Southgate is going to Liverpool Football Club? Oh Eddie Howe is going to England. <laughs> Chavi. <laughs> Chavi Alonso to buy. No, 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 no. I have to refute the Chavi Alonso one because I actually just saw a post um, from somebody that works at Bayern Munich. I'm forgetting his, his name right now. And he said, you know what? Uh, Chavi Alonso is not going to come out of Bayern. Uh, it's not going to come out of uh, uh, Leverkusen. You know, it's going to be hard to get him out of that. Klopp to Madrid. I could see it happening, but not right now. Not right now. We need to, we need to, um, we need to, uh, what's the word? Like, wait for Klopp to um, uh, get his rest. You know the guy is tired. He's been fighting Pep. <laughs> and he's only got one Premier League trophy. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. All right. All right. Um, oh, mo did hold on. He's telling you to make us mods, says Joe. Everybody going to be a moderator here. <laughs> we got more mods than, than nothing. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm all over the place, Joe. The soundboard level is low. Everything is just all over the place, but we're here. All right, all right, all right.
right, let's get the show going. Bro. Um, definitely not moderating you, Lutata. Just give me seventy five dollars. I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy all right two one chelsea says r10 we got it let's move on to the next one sheffield united versus fulham now <laughs> talk about bottom of the barrel sheffield united they only have three premier league wins out of 28 it's it's peak it's peak settings for sheffield they i think um the last match that they played was versus Bournemouth, and um, the, they actually drew 2-2. Not bad. But before that, they collected 6-0 from Arsenal. Shay, your team was is not nice on, on, on Sheffield United. They've also collected five goals from Brighton. They've collected 1-0 from Wolves. It's definitely going to be a loss for Sheffield United, in my opinion. I am going to say Sheffield United will lose to Fulham 3-1. Remember Fulham scored 5-0, you know, a few times this season. They actually, when they get going, they can actually really, really, really do the business. So my feeling is Fulham is going to steamroll this team. All right. Mental Ball Game says, I see Sheffield United nicking this one 1-0. One really? Really, Mental Ball? Who's your delivery guy? I need his phone number. One nil. Hey, stranger things have happened in football. That at home. Okay, all right. I will mental ball game says one nil to Sheffield United. Uh, what are you saying, Joe Blackman? What are you saying, Mark? What are you saying, uh, Box and R10 and anybody else that's tuned in? What is your prediction for Sheffield United versus Fulham? I I went with a three one. And uh, let me see, um, while Mark is out there doing that, thank you, Mark, in the background. I'm going to go with Notting the next, the other match that we have to talk about is Nottingham Forest versus um, uh, Crystal Palace. Nottingham Forest versus Palace. That's another not big-ish uh, game, Nottingham Forest at home. How do you think this one will go? Let's consult the expert opinion of <laughs> the one and only, the co-host, the man, the legend himself. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about Joe Blackman. What's good, homie? <laughs> I can't hear you. You've muted yourself, Joe. <laughs> I have to kick him out just because I can. <laughs> Let's bring him back one more time. Let's see if he unmuted. He sorted out his sound settings. <laughs> you're like Shay. You're like, I was out here giving Shay trouble when you are also having a problematic setup. Fix it, my G. Fix it. All right. Fix it and we'll watch you. <laughs> look at. Look at yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Call the IT department. <laughs> she. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's let's keep moving forward with Nottingham Forest Crystal Palace while the homie sorts out his um connection. So, uh, Nottingham Forest. Mark said two one Forest. Yale says two one Forest. You know what? You guys don't. You underestimate Elanga. I say 3-1. 3-1. Bold prediction. Anthony Alanga is going to be in form. I got to remind you. Rhythm is a dancer. Anthony Alanga. He's at home, man. You don't believe in the Alanga magic? Let me see. R10 said 3-1 Fulham. Thank you for yes. saying a sensible... Oh! Joe is back in the building. You finally started it out. I can hear you loud. Yeah, because you know, you're, using setup. you're using the new setup. A man's not used to your new setup, is it? Yeah. I'm, I'm not like, the new setup. Even... <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like it though. I'm not even gonna lie, I was messing around with it myself. The, the new setup can be it can work with it still. So it, there's a lot of you know, you know, We're learning on the job. I was, I was, I wanted to know your prediction, bro, about the Nottingham right. Forest. No, no, Sheffield first. I didn't keep my prediction for Sheffield yet. Okay, let's start with that one. 
All right, so Fulham is going to beat Sheffield. 100%. Yeah, I'm saying... I'm giving a lot of clean sheets this weekend, actually. I think I'm going to stick with another 2-0. That's another 2-0 another two- two- two galore. Okay. Andres Pereira to score. <laughs> okay. We will be there. We will be there. I think, bro, Sheffield United has conceded. Do you know? Do you want to know how many goals they have conceded this season? They are. Talk to me. Talk to me. Bro, bro, Sheffield United has conceded 74 goals this season. What? <laughs> bro, yeah. hey, hey, you know, you just pressed your soundboard, didn't you? I did. You didn't hear it. It sounded like your soundboard was outside. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, Lord. Hold on. Let me see if I can. It sounded like, it sounded like this. It sounded like. What about that? You hear me? Yeah. Get out of here. That's kind of like me, boy. <laughs> hey, man. It is what it is. <laughs> so, okay. 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 Even that, it sounds like this. It is what it is. <laughs> what it is, what it is, yo. <laughs> we gonna work with it today. <laughs> I, I might have to call the IT department later. So, so you know. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You know, yes. we should do, though, yeah. One yeah. thing that is good about the new setup here, yeah, which I've been utilizing a lot in my old setup, yeah, as in StreamYard, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just up, what is better about the new setup on Eevee Max? I don't know. We can use this as an advert for Evie Marks. Maybe they'll sponsor you. Yeah, listen, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you should you. say this, yeah, bro. Honestly, I tell you this right now. With Evie Marks, what you can do is you can upload your sounds to the system. True, true. Sound- I can I can. You're right. You're right. Also, you can also you can also do that in Streamyard too. But yes, but, but sound- board option where sounds can play over each other. Yeah, right. we're in we're in Streamyard. They cannot. I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. I hear I, I, you must have been with the IT department. We come in with this. I'm <laughs> glad to see it. That's what's been happening. I've been doing some hard work in the background. You get me? I've been trying to learn this YouTube thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> oh, bro. I hear you. The knowledge of the YouTube yet. But anyway. All right, all right. But your last show, as I was complimenting it, you kept on muting yourself a lot. <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> oh man! All right, all right, all right, all right. But let's keep let's, let's keep the show moving. Okay. So so let's see. Uh, Nottingham Forest Palace. That's the one I wanted to get from you. Right, Nottingham Forest. Mm, Nottingham Forest. Mm, I don't like to go against Palace. Yeah, Palace is like my second team. Literally, bro. Palace is down the road from where I live. I'm a London fan, isn't it? Yeah. I'm a London Man United fan. Yeah. And Crystal Palace is very, very close to me. Um, they're my second team. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Palace 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one, Palace. Two one to Palace. He's letting his geography cloud his judgment. Two one palace. I am. I am hundred percent. It's all good, you know. You gotta represent. It's your second team. It's all good. We understand. <laughs> Only I want them to win is against Man United. You know that was the. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Um, um, look at this. Mark says you underestimate Forest new coach Glasner. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Mark, Mark uh, is who me? I guess no, I think he was talking. He was might have been talking about me earlier. Think, the thing is, he's his sentence is messed up, bro. You underestimate Forest new coach Glasner. Glasner is a Crystal Palace new coach, <laughs> right? <laughs> bro, what's wrong with you? What's what's wrong with you? You keep coming with this false information that Trini son is. What kind of foolishness are you talking, real boy? That's. <laughs> Did you hear that? Did you yeah. Hear that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to give him one of these. One second. Can you hear this? Brutality. 
Loud and clear. <laughs> no, I think he's probably uh, because he was putting in some scores for other people, and you know, you know, and that's, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Um, Box mm-hmm. said two two. Let me see if Box is in there. Do, thank you, thank you for putting that in, Box. Okay, so you said two one Palace. I said three one Forest. I believe in rhythm as a dancer, and uh, I think also uh, what's his name. Um, so uh, what? Everybody thinks that Palace is gonna lose, yeah? Bro, bro, you don't know how informed Anthony Alanga is right now, bro. And also, Hudson Adoy is cooking. We'll Hudson- see, we'll see. You don't know about the new manager, Glasner Bounce, fam. The Glasner Bounce, fam. Look, 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 look. Okay, let me let me tell you and Lutata, all right? Lutata is out here asking for advice. Wish I had to shut up on this thing. I will tell you shut up, but I don't have it. <laughs> look, look. <laughs> Get out of here. Look, Luchata says, Papi, what are, what are the stats you consider when predicting or any secret formula? For me, I use form. I look at the injury list and also just sort of an emotional judgment just based on how I feel like the team should oh, There is nothing you can do about predicting, yeah? What you can do is you can look at some stats, yeah? But the stats can lie. So you never know how a football game is going to go. You know, someone can get injured. Anything can happen, yeah? The anything. thing about prediction is it's all about what your heart feels, bro. I don't care what anybody says. You no, have to some stats you, help you. These hard predictions from the hard predictions from here as well. Mm. Those are two different places. And yeah, maybe said, there are some stats you can look at that can probably help you consider who will probably be winners in certain matches. But you know what? I've seen games where you you thought that it was going to be, sure. oh yeah, Man City is going to win this and then what? Boom! Crystal Palace comes and beats them. What are you talking about? Yeah? L- Let me hear you. What? What? Lutata, Lutata needs to direct this question to Munch because Munch is the person who actually has been killing it with the predictions. If you want to see the league table of the predictions, Joe, look at where oh, Munch is. I'm start getting involved in this more often. Look at this. Look at, look at this league table. Munch has 111 points, bro. Jeez! Munch. <laughs> yeah, so so you know, the, and uh, Luan. Not, yeah. Hey, hey, listen, listen. Next season, we I'm will be there. Beginning the season, uh, next day one, bro. Me and you, listen. Let's work this. I'll be there from the beginning of the season. Yeah, be there. Say no more. Say no one more. One week. We have to do this. I'm, I'm all here. right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's talk about Bournemouth versus Everton. Bournemouth at home. Everton, uh, you know, they are also like in a bit of a predicament. You know, they 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 are now close to Luton Town and the relegation zone, and they want to get the hell out of there. We know that the financial fair play police have been pulling them over not once but twice, and oh, they they need to... Bournemouth have been playing really good football. You know, Bournemouth True. have. Been- Really, I, I roller, whatever his name is, I roller, high roller, roller yes. You, you yes. want me to say high roller, yeah? <laughs> that's yeah, yeah high roller, what I'm talking to man, yes, yeah, that's his new name for me now. That's what I'm calling him every time, I roller, what I'm talking about, yeah, uh, so I roller, yeah, he, yeah. He, I would say, oh, yeah, do you know what? I'm not even gonna lie, box. I will, I'm think I'm gonna go with box, you know, I, I'm thinking a draw. I'm mm. thinking of draw. You're gonna go with a one-one or two-two. I think there's gonna be some goals up. Yeah, two-two. Box said one-one. I'm saying two-two. No, actually, uh, uh, why did box? Say? Oh, box said one-one. Thank you, he thank you. One, thank you. Okay. I'm going to two-two still. Yeah. Joe Black. Mark said one-one. Everybody, why? Why is there so many draws all of a sudden? Mental ball games is saying one one as well. Mental ball games is one one, guys. One, one. This is where I collect points. Lutata, you see, I don't follow the grain. I'm going to go with an Everton win. Three one. Yeah? <laughs> I feel it's going to be a draw. Really? Honestly, I feel like it's going to be a draw. Yeah, because Bournemouth are dangerous. But you know what? Yeah, Everton, they need a win. Yeah. They, Not they, to say they, need a win as well that's why I feel like it'll be stalemate in the end if I'm being oh, honest yeah that's anyway cool. anyway 2-1 uh, R10 said 2-1 Bournemouth thank you R10 and alright alright let's keep the show moving and talk about Bournemouth as well say, who said what say that Stephanie right. Griffith <gasps> Steph- Steph- what did Steph say by the way. what did Steph say 
Stephanie Griffith, the queen of the internet, man. She's every. Stephanie said 2 1, right? What did she say? 3 1 to Bournemouth. <laughs> oh, to Bournemouth. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Interesting strategy. 2 1 to Bournemouth. All right. I'm going to go to Spurs versus Luton Town. Spurs versus Luton. That's the wrong way around. Uh, no, no. It's Spurs at home. Yeah. Spurs at home. Stephanie score. Stephanie score is the wrong way around. You said 2 1 Bournemouth. To, for, yeah. I mean, 2 1. Ever- oh, sorry. Yeah. 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 You're not, eh. no, let me tell you why, Joe. Let me tell you why. Talking about <laughs> predictions, Stephanie has this strategy of sometimes going 2 1 all the home teams. She's done that more than once, and it's actually worked out. <laughs> no, 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 no. So I was actually thinking, listen, so I was actually thinking, no. So Stephanie's not trying to do that this time around. So, oh, you know. I, I know. Yeah, your mind's playing tricks on you. It's good. <laughs> Many tricks. Jason Bournemouth is playing many tricks on me. Um, Luan saying, yo, for Bournemouth, remember there's a guy called Solanke in there who is killing it. So oh, yeah, I got you, Stephanie. I got you, Stephanie. I'm awake. Don't worry. Even if he's not. Even though it's later for us, yeah. I'm awake. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. All right. Uh, Box went with 4-1 Spurs versus Luton Town. Okay. <laughs> 4-1, says Box. I don't think it's going to be that. Do you know what? Yeah, by the way, yeah. I think Spurs are in for some shock losses. Really? Yes, because I still think... Yeah, this is your Man Unitedness talking and clouding your I guess. Still, oh, didn't I let my Crystal Palace side talk a minute ago? Don't you okay, think my, go ahead. Go ahead. Be even stronger. What are you talking about? Yeah, I'm telling you right now, we're finishing above Spurs and we're finishing above um, Aston Villa. Yeah, And I still think that Spurs are going to be in for some surprise losses, bro, or draws. You know what? I'm going to call this one a draw as well. Draw. This draw. A... They're going to draw with Spurs. Spurs are going to draw with Luton. What? 2-2? Two, two. Are you saying 2-2, two, two, Joe? I might even say 1-1. One, one. It might be a dead game. He's going to play a high line. Well, they going to play a high line. No, there's going to be goals. There's going to be goals. I feel like it's going to be even 3-3. Three, three. Three. I'm going with 3-3. Three, three. I might copy you. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's just... It, I'm not going with the game. Okay, okay. High-scoring game. Move, mm, copycat. <laughs> okay, no, three, three. You said 3-3. Three, three. I'm saying 2-2, two, two, yeah? Four goals in a game is still a high-scoring game. Yeah, 3-3 three, three is kind of mad. No, nah, Luan, I never said third. That was, that was Kenny talking, yeah? I said fourth. <laughs> I said fourth. I said we can achieve top four, yeah? I've said that, but not, not third. Third is uh, it was me. No, it wasn't even. Was it even him? It was Marcel. Marcel that said Marcel on the United View yeah. said that we finished third. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Well, we will be there. We will be there. We'll see. So you you said you said uh, you're gonna stick with your one one prediction, and um, let's see. No, I, I, I moved up to two two. You moved up to two two. Okay. Let me let me. I think there's gonna be more games. I think there's gonna be more goals. Like more you said. goals. Okay. Um, please, uh, Mark, just make sure that we've caught up with everybody else in the chat. If you can, let's go to Brentford versus Man United. No, that one last. Villa versus Wolves. Move over. Move, move the screen so we can see where I'm going. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do this. Or just, yeah. Villa versus Wolves. Villa versus... Who wants Wolves? Aston Villa at home, fam. Two, one, two wolves. <laughs> okay, okay. You la- <laughs> sorry, what, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. What you, were you laughing at? Bro, wolves are not beating Aston Villa, bro. At home? Nah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why can't wolves beat Aston Villa? Bro, bro, you know, you know, Mr. Good Evening. Why can't wolves beat Aston Villa? I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because Aston Villa, right? They they beat um uh um what's this team? That last the last two matches, right? They they drew with West Ham one one and then beat Ajax. They were conference league. They beat Ajax four nil, right? Okay. So that coming off of this is I'm just talking about the form in March 
because Aston Villa has and and the game versus uh, West Ham where they drew it was away. So Aston Villa at home have a little bit of a, 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 a you can't just walk over them, you know. And that, so 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 the last home game was versus Ajax, but then prior to that, the last home game in the league was versus Forest, and they won four two. Mm -hmm. the, the game uh, prior to that was obviously yeah. versus huh? I said yeah the game before that was what? go on the game before that uh, at home was versus Man United and that one was different right we won we won what was it though? what was it that's what I was it waiting for it was a 2-1 win it was a 2-1 win it was a 2-1 two. win yeah 2-1 two, 2-1 two, two. Two. Two United two. That's what I was waiting for. Yeah. Well, so we're not the same like wolves, Joe. Yeah. Well, I, I am not. You. Yeah. I'm, so listen, you're acting like wolves haven't come and bad up bare people already. You're I complimenting think wolves too much. You are over compliment. You can't put wolves and us on the same pedestal. Right Come on, right Joe. I'm telling you right now, their men are going to be okay. The only thing that's going to be good for them is that they're going to be coming back off a fresh um, international break here. Yeah? Right, that's the only thing, but we'll see when it comes up to this run of games that we're having now until the end of the season. Yeah, they're they've got more games than we do, they've got like 16 compared to our 12 or something like that. Yeah, they've got a lot more games than we do. Yeah, so they're going to be rotating their players a lot more fam thinking about the Europa League because they or whatever league they're in I can't remember what it is yeah they whatever European competition that they're in they're going to be concentrating on that more than they're concentrating on the Premier League and they're going to lose some games too and that's how we're going to finish above both of them fam yeah Tottenham and okay. Aston Villa if, if you say so if you say so but I want to just consult another top rate in the building Munch big up fam what are you I saying, man? So Big so up Joe is out here saying we are like wolves. Man United is just like wolves. What? Oh, nah, I never said that. Nah, no, two words in my mouth. Nah, nah, nah. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's emotional. He's you making Joe emotional guesses. <laughs> That's what that is, man. <laughs> yeah. Emotional damage. Right. <laughs> I never said that. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So, so you, you, you are settled. You saying that? Let me ask you one question though before we move forward, though, bro. Huh? Let me ask you one question before we move forward. Why Go do you ahead. got a little pimple on the side of my screen? Like. No, 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 no. It's nothing. Munch. He's playing left wing. He's playing left wing. That's me. Right. He, he, he's a winger. <laughs> he's on the wing, man. Let him, let him be on the wing. <laughs> I do. You continue, continue. Okay, I got the sidelines, man. He's on the. He's near the dugout. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Mark says United did the double on Aston Villa, right? Yeah, so we're way superior, bro. You can't like use that logic to like judge. Uh, whatever. We're we're done with the Villa. With the Villa. Um. 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 And versus uh, prediction, okay. And I'm gonna yes. say I it's gonna it's gonna be two nil. So the what's next is live Liverpool. <laughs> no, I can't see it on the screen, bro. Like, that's what I, I was like. laughing because Mark is the one that wrote it. He said Liverpool. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> I I usually say Liverpool. <laughs> 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 but Liverpool is is dope too. Okay, okay, all right, all right. What are you saying? Um, oh, box. I I need your Villa Wolves prediction. If you haven't put it in the chat, if you have, I'll look for it in a moment. But um, what are you saying, um, Joe, on this yeah. one? Liverpool, bright. You know the thing about this game. I feel like everybody's focused on Manchester City, What's Arsenal. Box said Aston Villa three, Wolves one. All right. Amazing. Thank you with the assist, Joe. Um, so so my 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 uh my feeling about this Liverpool Brighton game is that it's actually more of a title decider than City Arsenal. Because if Brighton beat Liverpool, then it becomes a two-horse race again. You know, it's gonna the the, 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 the uh it's Liverpool at home. Oh, they're winning. Yeah, you think they're gonna preserve that record? Enfield record. Enfield tax, isn't it? It's them, isn't it? No, unfortunately. 
It is a fortress. It, it is a fortress. And I think the last time um, they lost, it, it's it's been a really long time since Liverpool lost at home. Yeah. So, uh, all right. All right. Let's, if they've got we'll, points, we will be there. You know what I mean? We, we will be there. We will be there if they get points. What? Let's look at the injury list real quick. Okay. Liverpool has a long injury list, though. Without Trent, without Thiago. Uh, well, Thiago has never been there. Matip. Same way. <laughs> Jota, Nunes, Nunes is doubtful. Hamstring guy, by the way. Curtis Jones, Andrew Robertson, injured, ankle injury. Alison Becker, injured, hamstring injury. This is a big injury list, and Liverpool have been making do. But I think without Darwin Nunes, it's going to be even be tougher. You know? Yeah, but they still got Salah, fam, and they've still got and they've still got Diaz. Yeah. Salah so Diaz and Gakpo, and they don't have anybody else to pull from that. They've still got their midfield. They've still got their midfield. Uh, yeah. It's it's feeling more bright into Listen, me. I'm, I'm I'm with Luan in the chat, yeah. They won't lose, bro. Luan said it. They won't lose. They won't lose. They won't lose. And I'm I'm with her. I don't think they're gonna lose. Yeah. Luan says that's my word. All right, all right, all right. They won't lose. Uh, um so what is your predict what is your score prediction? Arten says two two. Ooh, that's a spicy. One. I think I think that they will win. Um, they will concede, and I think that might wake them up. So yeah, maybe a two one, two one. Two one to Liverpool. Yeah. I I we we know Brighton likes to play out from the back. They actually only play out. I've rarely seen uh Brighton goalkeeper hit a long, long uh, a long kick. So, uh, and Liverpool are the masters of the high press. So they're just going to make trouble for themselves. And I feel like it's going to be a Liverpool 3-0 for me. 3-0? Okay. Yeah, I, I wanted Liverpool to lose, but it's going to be 3-0. They're going to lose this match. Yeah, yeah. Even with, I know that Andy Robson got injured in the international break, but yeah. they got enough. I think they got enough cover, you know. All right. All right. Mark went with Brighton. Yo! Winning 3 2. Okay. 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 <laughs> winning any more points. You know what I mean? <laughs> Mental ball games is Liverpool 2, Brighton 1. Oh, what? Right? right? Okay. Hey, man. Who's going to score, Mark? <laughs> Mitoma is injured. Uh, um, they have a significant injury list. Mark is fighting with his feelings. That's what he's doing. He's predicting. Yeah. Us. Yeah. His, 100%. Liverpool hate. It's, it's the Liverpool hate predicting. It's not Mark. <laughs> that high line is going to be a problem. And all right. All right. Cool. Let's see. Let's see the next one. The next one is uh, City versus Arsenal. What are we saying, guys? Can we can see? Because we can't see, bro. Shitty Arsenal. Shitty and go. Arsenal. Okay. Arsenal. Hmm. I'm tempted, you know. This is man, 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 give your prediction right now, bro. Come on, give one. You can't just like you go first. Man, I'll give you I'll, I'll give you one prediction, yeah. Then uh, what's the early kickoff? Is it half twelve, isn't it? Uh the the early kickoff is the Newcastle West Ham. Newcastle, yeah. Yeah. I'll give right. you that one. That prediction, okay. then I just post the rest in the comments. Um I'll, this is my solid pick. I wanna say Newcastle. Oh my god, why did I say this? Uh, I'm gonna go. I stand a 2 1 to Newcastle. Get me my point. 2 1. All right. All right. He said 2 1. Okay. All right. Manchester City, Arsenal. Somebody, ah, Box says it's going to be a draw. That's not a bad shout, you know. 2 2. I want it to be a draw, but I don't think it's going to be a draw. Why? That's the thing. Can I tell you something? Arsenal usually get spanked by City. I've got a feeling what Kevin De Bruyne is injured, right? No, he's playing. Mm. He's in training. He's in training. Mm. Yeah. I don't even care. I'm going to say that Arsenal are going to win, you know. <laughs> I'm going to say Arsenal. I don't want to say it. I want to draw. In my Man United heart, I want to draw. But I think Arsenal are going to get... Really? Gonna get one up on City this season. I think they will. No, bro. Like, didn't Arsenal already? Let, let's let's consult that head-to-head -head record real quick. Let's it see. Went one at, uh, at the Emirates. Emirates. So yeah. you're saying Arteta is gonna do the, park the double-decker bus on Pep 
He's gonna do it the could double. Happen. It could happen. Bro, so it takes a couple of managers a little while to understand what they need to do to win. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I feel like Arteta got close to it last season, and this season, he knows what he needs to do. That's what I'm trying to say to you. Yeah. And then you know also it's the Liverpool thing as well, because they're in the mix as well. You want to stop Liverpool as well, getting in the ring. Yeah, That's and I honestly thing. feel, I honestly feel like Arsenal are going to beat City again, bro. I think you guys are smoking crack. You know, I I'm going with a Manchester City. I will be there. I will be there. I will be there. Yeah. So what's your? What, there. Let me give my prediction before you, Joe. Okay, I'm going with Manchester City winning this two one. Okay, and Joe, go ahead. What's Another your one nil? Another one nil. One nil to Manchester City. Arsenal. To Arsenal. Sorry. I'm trying to help you, Joe. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Don't help me, man. Where am I? I'm going to help you win the game. <laughs> help, yeah, don't you worry about me, yeah? I'm this, man. I got this, this, yeah? This is your first time playing, bro. I want to help you win. <laughs> no, no, don't you worry about me, brother. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, all right. Just like, leave me to it, man. Okay, okay. all right. <laughs> all right, let's, let's go to the the yeah. other important one Thank for you. top five. For top five, uh, the top five charges on Manchester oh, United. Oh, top five now, yeah? Uh, fair enough. Uh, bro, well, yeah, bro, let's be real. Let's be real. Well, top, just six. Hope top, top six. For the <laughs> charge, top six charge. Okay, yeah. Man United is going away to play Brentford. Okay. Ooh. <sighs> Thomas Frank. Thomas Frank. Let me, for a little bit of context too. Let's look at um the injury. Don't play with me. I'm not. Listen, we are winning that game. What are you nervous about, people? Thankfully, I'm missing that game. Thank God. <laughs> Why? What do you mean, do you mean missing you're missing? That. Don't miss Man's that game. Man's got family things in it. Man's got to do the family oh, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. It is what it is. But what I'm saying is the only going, valid experience. Thankfully, so unfortunately, I've got missed that game, innit? Yeah, because you know what? We are going to put down a beat in just like we did to Liverpool, fam. Yeah. There's no way we're going to come off of a loss after what we did to Liverpool. Yeah. Come on. We have to. Ooh. We must. We must. We must. I mean, building off of yes, building off of the 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 momentum, yeah, yeah, it makes sense. I'm but saying three one to Man United, three one to United. Okay, yes. okay, okay. Like you know what's uh, gonna happen? I think I heard someone else say this, yeah. But mm-hmm. you know what? I do believe it's gonna be a case where it's gonna be like one one for ages, and then we're gonna score two one, yeah. Then they're gonna pile people on that. Push people up high line, whatever, trying to put on the pressure, and then we're going to score another one at the end. So it ends up 3 1. All right. Joe says 3 1. I'm going to go ahead and put in 3 1 Men United. That's the right one. Okay. Uh, Mental ball game. Ages ago. Mm -hmm. Who? What you say, man? That happened ages ago at Brentford as well. They were pushing for the the 2 2. We counted with a Rashford third goal, if you remember. I hear it. I hear it. But also, let's look at where. Um, what it, the significance of the game for both teams, right? Brentford is sitting more or less comfortably mid-table, but they know that Everton is right behind them. They're one point up, uh, in front of Everton. So they need to, like, you know, win this, but not as much as we need to get into that uh, uh, top five position. So, yeah, I feel like we, we need this win more than they need it. And uh, it's going to be Men United winning uh, 2-1. I'm going to go with a 2-1 United, you know, standard. Uh, all right. Stephanie thing, isn't it? Two yeah, that's the Stephanie. They're all St- Stephanie classic. <laughs> oh, did she say? She said, okay, no, I, I thought she did it again this time. So, But it's a bunch of 2-1s, two 2-1s, ones, two ones and 3 twos. Stephanie, yeah, what is your brand for the United States? R10 and box. I'm waiting on your United prediction versus Brentford. So, so the, yeah, man, it's... What are your thoughts on it, um, uh, Manj? Like, do you think, you know, uh, Thomas Frank needs this more than Ten Hag? Who needs the win more, in your opinion? I think they both do. You know, both sides under pressure a little bit, but both sides must. But at the end of the day, it all comes down to who wants it more in a day, you know? I'm not going to give a prediction just yet, 
Yeah. I like to marinate the other people's scope, but it's you, just what I'm saying. I, that's and, a you know, wide way of saying I like to copy. I like to look at other people's submissions. Who's top? Who's top of the thing? And the this thing? is my average. This is how this guy does it. That's how much he does top of the thing? Who's top of the thing? He's top of the thing. top right now. But it might be Luando, but here we are. Not forever. Right not forever. Not forever, bro. He's <laughs> top right now, but here we are. But, no, but anyway, I can think of two. I Next think season, two, I one. Yeah. I think I've got them two one, but I'm not sure who two. It's one of them ones. Okay. I'm on the fence. Like the ETH hour league. Oh, you know God. Eric Ten Hag <laughs> on the fence league. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> the two uh, fence league. So, so anybody else that hasn't given that prediction? Be hurting you. All oh, you man sitting on the fence here. Yeah. You don't know what a fence looks like. Your batty must be hurting you. <laughs> sitting on the picket fence. No sitting dude. on the picket um, fence, yeah. <laughs> 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 yes, sitting on the fence is never a comfortable experience. So, <laughs> so. that's the new pause. That's the you. Yeah. All you fence sitters, I'm coming for you, man. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Listen, 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 listen. Yeah. yeah. No, sorry, go on. Yeah, on, on the Brentford, a couple of insights for men like Lutata. Brentford haven't won a match in six attempts. Brentford haven't kept a clean sheet in six matches. Mm. Brainford score 1.4 goals per match. Mm. Now, for us, we score 1.4 goals per match as well. You know, we actually, um, I think out of, uh, there's a stat that I saw that said out of um, the games that we've played, we, we've had the most 1-0, um, the most games that have been won by one goal margin than any other right. team in the Premier League. So I'm really feeling like this is going to be another one of those, you know, well, just that's that's why I'm making this two one prediction. Okay. See, Informed, this is, yes. You say for you these know? guys who are asking Bots how he makes his predictions, he <laughs> literally just did it in front of your eyes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he looks at old stats and then he thinks it's going to help. Don't forget, you. Bots, yeah? <laughs> bots actually can run this spreadsheet. You can actually look, uh, look over people's picks and say, "Hmm, who's got the closest score?" You can change it to just to tweak a little bit. Don't go anywhere, <laughs> bots. We see you. <laughs> 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 no nah, man, I'm not like that. Stephanie says Munch still has the yellow jacket on, leading the the tour the predictor. <laughs> that is funny. Um, we won't get the Reggion reunion. He's suspended. Oh, true. that's true. That is true. Yeah, I mean, actually, I would have I would have liked to play versus Reggion because I think defensively, that's where sometimes he 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 has a little bit of lapses in concentration mm. sometimes. You know, but yeah, offensively, we know he can show You know, up. we're missing. It's just yes. because we've got Aaron Wan-Bissaka back now that we're saying we don't miss him, though. Right? Because true, true. We were short, bro. You know, we were, we, we were, uh, there was a, a, a employment opportunity at Man United for a long time <laughs> in that left back position. So, um, Munch does the opposite of what we do, says R10. And so is Luen. Is this the trick, guys? Look at the people that are at the top of the table. They try and, like, wait. And we'll see how everybody does that prediction. Let's see. So we got Manj, Luen, Omo on third. And then I'm fourth. Mark is fifth. R10 is uh, sixth. Sashiv, seventh. Don't forget, Khan. Bots, you should have to add the total for last week's game weeks as well. So that, it could change. That, is, that is so true, Manj. I did not add match day 29. That is so true. Yes, yes. You see, we have 26, 27, 28. We did not put... We might as well do it right now. She. Oh, by the way, know, I'm, got zero. I'm going to have to bounce, I'm though. Zero. I'm going to have to bounce, guys. Yeah, no, no, no. After, do, yeah. Let me make sure we got all your scores, uh, um, Joe. Yeah, we got we got all your predictions in. Big shout out to you. Thank you, thank you. Every time. The, the only person that's missing is Mental Ball Games prediction as well no, as he R gave it. He gave it. What? He gave which it, one? Oh, for? Three one United, and then R ten. Three one United. Yeah. As well. Okay. Okay. Big up. Big up. Big up to R ten said one nil to United. Okay. Okay. One nil. R ten must have been listening to the stats I was saying. Well, it's pretty early in the chat, bro. Maybe not. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh, you know, way, now, it? Don't lie. You saw it. Try to pretend you didn't see it. No, no, I didn't. I didn't. I was 
<laughs> I did it. I did it, bro. I was actually re- looking at like the insights of like you know how each team has been doing, you know, and uh, yeah, you know, we ha- Man United have not have won previous two matches against Brentford, so it should be a, a simple walk in the park. But no, I actually not a simple. Don't walk in the park. say that. I don't. Don't do that. Don't say that. Yeah, don't do that. No, we we're at the G Tech Stadium. It's not going to be easy, but we're going to win by a goal. That's what I'll say. Yeah, That's, I'll, I'll end it on that. If anything bad happens, don't go anywhere. <laughs> I didn't jinx it. I never jinx. I never jinx. Uh, Brentford got a quite uh, walking park. Oh, I hate when people say things like that. You uh, just maybe have a bad feeling. Man, there's no way Thomas Frank is gonna like do. We have to win. We have to win. You just gave me a chill down my spine. Yeah, yeah. we have to win though. It's not that. It's not last season, fam. Last season they they you know they embarrassed us uh, four nil at this at that stadium. And that's that's the be reminded of that. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was one of the what the first or second game of the season. Second yeah. game, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so no, no, bees can't sting twice. Exactly, Stephanie. Thank you. <laughs> that is beautiful. That is beautiful. And uh, we don't care about the injuries. Yo, yo. Shout out to everybody that's been putting in that predictions. We got 30 people tuned in right now on all platforms. It's a very fun, simple game, guys. All you have to do is put in your score, and then we put it in the spreadsheet. And we, you, you know, it's nice to predict with other people, and then you know, also know where you are on this, so that next season, just like this guy, so that you know, you have a little bit of a, uh, a, a leg up, you know. Yeah, this is my practice. Next season, though, in it to win it. Yeah? In it to win. Also, Chelsea Dan sent me a long personal message saying, next season, I'm not missing any other predictors. Because, like, he... Let's he, do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Next season, bro. Let's <laughs> make this uh, uh, a steady, solidified show that we're promoting to every channel, bro. So everybody yes, knows, yeah? Yes, Let's sir. Let's get everybody the predictor, yeah? Yes, sir. Uh, we, we, we will be there. We will be there. I know you got to bounce, Joe, so, you know, if you got to dip right now, I'll... All is well, well. I don't have to work this thing, fam. Kick me out. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, all right, all right. And just like that, he's gone. <laughs> he's Big shout out to Joe Black, man. Every time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big shout out to all the 16 folks that have hit the like button. I appreciate you guys. And Artin says, let's do a Euro predict. We will, we will, we will. No, I, also- I want to enjoy my Euros, man. <laughs> you want <laughs> I can a prediction right now. Sounds good in winning Jack. Because <laughs> like I'll be honest with God's honest here. I love doing the predictions, right? But I, yeah. I also think to myself, who's got what? Who's done what at this stage? It takes away from the uh, enjoyment. I know, I know, I know, I know. You know what's funny? Like even during a watch along, I've got myself going to the spreadsheet, just looking being, how <laughs> it takes away the enjoyment, but it's fun at the same time, you know? I know, <laughs> but you know, it's like, bro, it's, it's, it's a fun game. It is what it is. Um, um, Copa America predictors is Fox. No, we already have the FA Cup. We have the Champions League <laughs> and we're going to be doing this summer. We'll definitely be playing for sure. Copa America and Euro predictor. Why not? Why not? We will be there for that, bro. <laughs> that is hilarious. We're going to do the Olympic Games predictor league as well. How many gold medals people are going to get? No. <laughs> yeah, actually, actually, what what we want to do, I think, um, an idea we talked about, Manj, was um, yeah. um, doing a bonus, like pick one person to score for a, for the match predictor. You know, just mention a name and then oh. for like a bonus point, you know, bonus three points or something. You know, uh, mm. uh, yeah, yeah, it's you know, eventually it's we keep, well, yeah, 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 step by step. Eventually, we'll get to the Tonali level where we're like, you know. <laughs> This person's gonna get a yellow card. This was, you know, but like st- one step at a time, one season at a time. So, <laughs> actually, on I gotta ask you about uh, Tonali, bro. Like, th- so uh, the reason why I bring in a- bring him up is because he's somebody that I actually wanted at Manchester United, and I was jealous that Newcastle got him. But now I'm not jealous anymore, and I'm even getting an- a deeper insight into this uh, uh, gambling. No, not gambling. Sorry, Lutata. Betting addiction. Mm. 
right? It's actually real. Tonali, you know, if if uh, you're tuned in and you're not aware of this, he's been uh, served another like uh, while while he had the gambling thing, the betting thing going on in Italy, and now I think he's been doing it in the Premier League as well. And I, he's probably gonna have his uh, ban extended, which which just makes me look at another. Another guy that Manchester United has been rumored with, Ivan Tony, in a different light, bro. Because I, I'm fortunately like I I don't you know I don't um uh you know indulge in these the bookies or whatever. But but I see that it's a real thing about about um it's a real addiction, you know. So I'm I'm wondering like if we signed Ivan Tony, would you be concerned? Would you go for Ivan Tony, knowing what we know now about you know these guys and and how they're moving with their addictions? Where are you at with it? I want to say something that people haven't really touched on about this betting thing. There okay. are clubs these days that have betting sponsorships on their shirts. Bet three sixty five. And all that <laughs> stuff. Eight eight eight. Whatever. Yeah. So uh, football power hour. Those companies. Those are watching. And um, for me. I yes. think people are so moral, moral use their, want to use a moral compass about oh how we we need to we can't we have to back away from that player or whatever. However, if that player scores the winner for United or whoever in the 95th minute, mm-hmm. you're like, oh my god, I can't believe we signed him. Da, 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 da. Basically, people just into so feelings about the moral high ground. You know what I mean? True. So, yeah, whenever, I'll sign him. To whenever I'll sign him it suits them. Yeah, I'll sign him tomorrow if he's available. You would sign him tomorrow still. 100%. I- Ivan Tony, yes. not Tonali. Okay. No. Wow. Yeah. <sighs> Football fans are fickle, man. We change our minds every 10 seconds. You know, also, but the other thing is also you can't, uh, you're, what you're saying makes me feel like, yeah, you can use another man's like predi- downfall to judge a di- totally different guy. You know what I mean? You know, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's like, it's like, you know, maybe Ivan Tony has had a moment of rehabilitation and 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 reform while he was away yeah. from football, and he doesn't want to take that break again. You know, so maybe you can bend for somebody like me who believes in second chances. Mm. Uh, I, I see why you're saying that, but at the same time, bro, I feel like we will be in the deep mud. We won't be doing our homework if we signed Ivan Tony. And I'm so tempted, but I'm like, nah. You nah. mentioned that, but Bots, when have United ever made any wise transfers before? In their no, home no, home? that was before Dan Ashworth and Omar Barada. Now we got Sir Jimmy Jim in the building, bro. We are now. Let me supposed- answer you, Bots. Yeah. I'm about to cut you off. So I don't remember to be doing predictions, but it just take another direction from me. Go ahead. Like go. No, we're, we're, we're wrapping um, up the conversation. Go ahead. Yeah. One thing I will say. What's that? What's that for termination? What's that phrase says? You have one chance to make a good first impression. Is that mm-hmm. the right thing? Yes. If Ineos, uh, Barada, or Ratcliffe don't make the right decisions this summer, fraud watch instantly for me. Mm. You're putting saying, them on people, fraud alert. Yes. And here's Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be waiting for you, Mark. Let's hear him. Yeah, bro, you know, you know, bro, uh, bro I, I had a headache. I don't take a painkiller there. So, you know, I ain't going live. I'm just watching the background. But, nah, man. Nah, my brethren. Eh. Why? Why? Why, man? Why are you no, saying no, no, that, no, no, Mark? No. A shit rate, half rate footballer who hit his ceiling that not getting any better. Who is this? Ivan Ivan Tony you're talking Ivan, about? Ivan the Terrible playing shit all He's season. Ivan the score, ba- Barely score a penalty. A free kick. And a free goal that he should not even get because he handled the ball and was still given a penalty. But men want to, to bag him up. Bro, I'm mad. I'm real mad, bro. The man <sighs> gambling against his own club. More, more than a hundred bets, bro. Against his own club. That, that's To that, lose. That's bro, crazy. That is the, bro, that worse than what Mason do, bro. I tell him. Because no, 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 no. Bro, that man will no, no, no. tell you something, bro. Let, that, let man is a, that man is a, is a Judas for profit, bro. He's the guy never do. That's a Gary Neville. Ooh, that is man. That's ooh. <laughs> I can't believe he said that. 
I can't just dis- obviously Marx has a preferences. I got my preferences. Let's agree to disagree. Exactly. And you know about saying bots? Let's move on. Let's move on, man. Let's move on from that. Yeah, one. We have to move on. <laughs> Big yeah. up to Mark every time, though. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Man, you know, he sees me that message, you know. Man, sent me that message, yeah, direct live, and you know. he's like, bro, we are not, we doing any background. Come live. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, all right. Let me catch up on the comments about the um, gameplay. Oh, shout out to Stephanie for that. Oh, predict top goal scorer, golden boot, golden glove, top assists. Yes, next season we're doing that. Yes, 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 yes. For like that's like an extra five point boost or something. We will figure Tony. that. Out. Say what? Ivan Tony, top goal scorer. Just kidding. Oh. When next? Ne- Just when, kidding. In, in Just championship? Kidding. No, Just no, kidding. no, no, no. No, just kidding. I, don't worry, Mark. Don't worry. No, no. I, I was just responding to that because Stephanie had added as well, a. Let me, just sit. let me just clarify this for Luan. Now. Luan, yeah. you see that first word in your sentence before you say "and." That is not actual or fact or true. That not that is definitely not true. So, first of all, like we start off with that was not even what he was alleged of doing. So. If you want to make up, no, 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 Mark, we can't talk about Mason Greenwood right now. It's no, nice I, just, I, just, I just tell her that that word that she used there is not actually what was he alleged to do. So therefore, people keep saying that like if it's That's a fun and joke, but it's not a fun and joke to keep to say that thing because it's not true. Okay, okay, stop poking the bear now. Stop poking the bear. Stop <laughs> definitely giving you words of advice. Let's I'm about to, to, apologize. I'm I'm about to get out of here, man. I'm yeah, here. yeah, yeah. We need... <laughs> yeah. Let, let, let's 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 uh catch up on that. There was yeah, about yeah. the betting conversation. I want to make sure I honored everybody that commented about that topic, by the way. Buck said Juve's um uh Fagioli also bent for betting. He's a big addict. There's too many addicts in this. Uh, football world what's going on he owed illegal gambling sites over three million dollars three million yeah Jeez. Man want to get our come up quick uh, why are you betting when you're making six figures per per, per month what's going on it's, it's a level of greed that I don't understand. I, I, I'm really, really, really baffled by these guys who are already rich, but they are like going into a practice that's breaking the rules and only going to jeopardize their salaries. Why, why are you doing that? Just don't do it. Mm. Bet after you retire. Zlatan can do all the betting he wants if he ever he was interested now, you know. Yeah, I'm- them man be moving mad, bro. I don't know, like the money they gain not enough. It, it, it's just weird, bro. Like I don't know what they have no reason. Like I'm not saying they shouldn't bet. Of course you could bet. Anybody could gamble once you're of age. But yes, they, these fellas making so much money, they are can like if they need it, it's a necessity. Bet, maybe Mark, bet with five of your friends privately in your WhatsApp group. You don't need to go on on whatever to... I don't even get these Greed, guys. puppy. Greed. That greed monster. Hey, bro. That greed yeah. monster real. But I'm going to have an early night, man. It's East, It's nearly Easter now, so I'm going to call it a night. Hey. I'm going to ca- catch up with you guys Big throughout up, the weekend. I won't be on much longer due to family things, but I will be about. So All I'll catch you guys good. next time. All good. Chat. Big up, man. Big up, man. Out. Look out for the community post to, uh, to put your predictions in there in the community tab, or you can comment on this video too with your um, final predictions. That goes out to yep. everybody else that is watching. So shout out to you and um, us, yeah. Thank you, man. Happy Easter, fam. Have a good one, man. You too, Happy man. Easter, bro. Yeah. You too, man. I'd love to the chat as well, man. Big up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big up. And and um, yeah, man. It's just the level of greed that it, it almost seems like these footballers. Our glazers yeah, on yeah. the pitch, Mark. Mental, well, mental saying there is real truth to that. It's beyond rushes, like excitement, you know? It's like any other addiction. They don't do it for money. They do it for the buzz. Mental ball game. You are, you are onto something there. You're yeah, right. It could be one of those things where it's like, it's not even about the money anymore. Uh, now there's all these videos of even Tonali growing up. You know, uh, 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 the videos of Tonali surfacing where he gets an unnecessary yellow card. And you're wondering, is this guy like, was he doing this because of a bet, you know, a bet that he had or something? You know, it's like all these things you do not want as a fan. You do not want your your team to be jeopardized by somebody's greed, you know. So 
I do not want any of these betting merchants in my club. Big up to Ronald, by the way. Ronald, you came at the end of the conversation. Let's let's hear you chime in about betting because I have to run to work in like five minutes. So let me let me put in put in the link in the chat for Ronald to just give your opinion on the betting, and uh, um, then you will have to give me your score predictions, Ronald, on a, in the thing on the community tab, just like everybody else. Because um, yeah, I swear to you, I feel like all the teams above us gonna draw this weekend, except Villa. I think Villa will lose. You think Villa is gonna lose? But everybody else above us will draw, and we go win. We will win. So you're saying Spurs is gonna draw City, and Arsenal are gonna draw Brighton and Liverpool. I mean, Liverpool is gonna draw versus Brighton. Is that what you're saying as well? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm, I don't see it. I don't see it. It's not clear. It's not clear to me. It's too blurry. No, you know what? There's Easter in a real prayers floating around, and I'm pretty sure the teams that you know. <laughs> That the underdogs praying hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord! Okay, yo, Ronald said he's coming in with some breaking news. We are waiting on the breaking news before I gotta. I, I gotta just to say that that Gar- that um Zabi Alonso saying no to Liverpool because I break down news two weeks ago. It all around Germany, bro. He he said no to Bayern Munich. He said no to to Liverpool. And all right, let's hear him. Let's hear him. Big up Ronald in the house. What's up, but? You're leaving early. What's going on? Yeah, we've been here an hour, 30 He's minutes, man. Bro, that's cute. <laughs> He's like, that's cute. That's not long enough. <laughs> that's not long enough. <laughs> that's, a, that's, no. a, that's a preview. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's not even a show. <laughs> that's not a I know. It's, by our standards, it's really below below par. Yeah, I mean, but, people, but... <laughs> people have an expectation from us now. We have to live up to that. Copy. <laughs> Bro, yeah. One thing I was going to say, Papi, if you could, be, when, you're, when you're closing off the stream, if you could just push the, follow, push the followers to um, Drex's channel because he's live right now. Mm. We have to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, um, if you can, uh, Mark, pull up his link um, to D-Hub Sports, by the way, and we can just put it in the chat. But Ronald, break the news, brother, as we're closing because actually I have to be, I'm at the... Uh, this, this guy actually spoiled it. it. It was actually that one itself, uh, the Liverpool one. But I'm just happy, you know, because at the end of the day, they're not getting the guy. They wanted, they really mm. wanted, mm. and uh, it wouldn't have really worked out anyways because the new management, players leaving, a lot of shakeup, and then you have such a not so you know not so experienced manager coming in, wouldn't have really worked out either. But uh, then again, Mark, Mark is Mark. Mark's a spoiler, so he spoiled it. But that's okay. Some other day I'll get Mark. No problem. <laughs> I'll have him on my because but but for him to say that he knew it two weeks ago. Bro, your name is not David Onstein, is it? No, bro. I'm in Germany. You were just guessing. Korean. You were just betting. No, 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 listen, you were just listen, betting listen, on that listen, news. See, Stop see, betting, bro. You see? You see? No, but also R10 broke this news in the chat earlier on too. He also mentioned it. You know, like 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 yeah, it's, it's been going around uh, for a while, but till now it was all Korean up in the Pettenberg all up in the air and conversation that True. yeah, it might happen, might not happen, but now it's kind of solidified that it's, it will not happen. I like and that's it. good for us. And that's good for us. I mean, also, but good for him, though. I think he needs to, like, f- develop as a coach. One good season. They no, always say that, that phrase, nah, right? One that, guy, that, guy's de- no, that guy's developed enough, bro. His father was a damn coach himself. Like, this <laughs> man has actually... No, if you deep it, Xavi Alonso <laughs> himself as a player has played under absolute best of the best managers yes. and he knows their system in and out because their system coexisted with him in that team in those teams that he played in so he was but, always but hear my point you know hear my point my point yeah. is Xavi Alonso's um uh managerial experience needs to even grow in terms of like having to deal with like boosting your squad or uh, and clearing out because there's still some Again, players. Thoughts, you have to understand what? He's managing Bayern Leverkusen against yeah. Bayern Munich. He's not yes. managing Molde. He's not Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. No, it's not Molde. It's not Molde. But if he goes to like even Liverpool, that's like a a, a bigger step than than yeah, it absolutely Leverkusen. is. But that also means that he's act he has access to a bigger chest. Pause. Bigger, bigger chest, but not access to the uh, being afforded the experience of a rebuild. So it's like he it could go either way. It's like yeah, you it could go either way. But then. 
yeah. from his from his experience of what we have seen till now, I think it would work out. Just one season is all that we've seen now. Bro, hey, let me tell you something. A lot of people are telling me after half a season, Ange Postacoglu is the way to go. So what you tell me? <laughs> Bro, I, let me tell you something. Yeah. Ange Post, let me tell you something. The Ange debate, I'm not saying he's not a good coach, but I'm saying using Ange and Spurs as an example is a madness. The av- Listen, and I want to hear, well, no, hear me real good on this, right? Spurs, yeah. the, the 90% of Spurs squad has been at Spurs for over 27 months. Minus the four players that he brought in. Everybody else been there. So they have chemistry from training together for over two seasons, bro. But then, but then the again, game. Mark, Mark, just think about it this way. I'm, I'm not sure if you guys have played this game. It's called Taken, right? It's called yeah. Taken. Now, in that game, you can select a player who has good punches, right? Mm-hmm. And oh, I've, Tekken. I've selected, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Tekken, right? I've, right. Selected a, I, I've selected a player that has everything, but I did not know how, what Mark could do. Mark just punched through the way through me. But mm-hmm. in the next game, I'm going to use Eddie because I know he has no legs. And he He's got, just punching me. He got so I'm using my legs now. Yeah. So the same way, this season, Ange Postacoglu came in Gave a shock to the whole league. A lot of people thought he might do something. You know, first game, okay, he went with high line. Second game, they were expecting him to kind of change. Did not. But you never know if the guy has something in this. Now, at the end of the season and start of the next season, bro, do you have anything else to show? No. So you're going to struggle that season. Yeah. yeah. And I want to I then talk to these people who come here and cry, Ange Ball, I will, I'll, I will talk to them. <laughs> you know who. You missed an action tonight. <laughs> well, 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 Omo, where are you? <laughs> Yo, bots. Bots, I'm going to go ahead and uh, drop my predictions to you on the, on the DM. So just, just look out for that, okay? Yeah, you know what Can you mean, actually please do it on the video? On the DM, go, to the, go to the community page on Papi's yes. channel and drop, yes. the, drop them there, bro. It yeah. helps the algorithm, Ronald. Okay, also, I'll do it there. if Papi forget to put it in, I could put it in tomorrow. You know what I mean? Pause, so bro. Pause be... on that. Like, I can... bro, bro, get your mind out of the gutter, now, bro. Did you know, be on that, Mark. <laughs> yeah, like double <laughs> pause on that, bro. Like, did you score? Did you score pause. Take, take the cassette bro. out and throw it away, bro. What are you doing? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> well, again, also because I remember you mentioned this, but uh, about Tonali. Yeah, it's absolutely crazy. The guy. Like, I'll be honest with you, after the promise thing and the drug dealing and everything, I'm not surprised because, you know, people, even being a top professional as an athlete, they do a lot of things. Yeah. So if this guy is still doing it, I'm not surprised at all. Like, not at all. If he did that to himself, not surprised because the video of you guys were talking about him, you know, actually deliberately taking a yellow card that might actually come across and look like oh he was at you know it might look like you know people are kind of reaching but it could also be that he actually did that in the right thought but now because the name stain you never know right it's up into debate you just never know whatever he did why he did was there any kind of bad intentions behind it was he trying to win a bet Maybe you know, not for himself, but for a family member, whatnot. You you never know, right? This this is the yeah. one that yeah. So uh, I think it's kind of uh, bad. It's a good talented player, but at the end of the day, if someone else, someone wants to you know go ahead and waste their own talent, you can't save them, can you? So no. if he wants to go ahead and bet, might as well just quit football and start betting, bro. We, yeah, yeah. It, 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 he's he's definitely not helping himself because I think he he still has like five months left, but I'm sure he's gonna get hit with new charges or new he, ban, isn't he? He's the new Pogba. <laughs> he's gonna get four years after this. <laughs> no wait. So he had he had ten months ban. He suffered five months of it. Five yeah. months left, and now I think the news I read was that he's gonna get charged with fifty new charges. Yeah. And, and how much was before, Mark? One second, bro. I, I, unable to put, I put a comment in the chat, but I'm not seeing it popping up. So maybe you'll have to do the share, bro, because on our mod, they don't allow me to, to put post links in your chat. Oh, and really? Links with it to, to your channel, yeah. Okay, let me see. Mark, how many charges was he uh, convicted on last time? How many betting charges? About six. So but six got him... No, the no, one si- had like about 15 or 16. 
No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. So six charges got him about ten months, right? Yeah. Well, okay. Basically, it's like this. Recur. Two but now they have recurring. fifty. Well, right. Two of them charges was recurring charges, and then the other two was for soliciting others to get involved. And because Got it, okay. they didn't really testify against him, except the one dude, which was really one dude. I mean, if you understand what I'm saying, it was multiple guys. And if one out of the multiple oh, said, well, yeah. You know, but the other dude himself was also guilty <laughs> of doing the same thing. So it was real weird, bro. Like, Major pause alert. Guys, guys, yeah, guys. But this guy, this guy is wrapped up just like the stream. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you guys, this guy is done. The stream is done. Tonali, exactly. it was nice, one. nice looking at you, nice seeing you play for nice a few to games. Know you. But nice we are to know you. God bless you, but we out of here now. <laughs> it was nice to nice to know you. <laughs> Don't ever do it again. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and wrap up the stream. Right now I have the link in the chat to Drex's channel. If you want to go check out um um D Hub Sports, that's where he's at right now. Actually, Munch is also over there right now. So shout out to Munch and Drex. And uh um please go give him a like, go subscribe over there. And uh shout out to you, Ronald. Shout out to Mark. Guys, it's been wonderful. Tomorrow we shall do we will after the happy hour, we will um add up the scores for match day 29 and put them into the table so that it's mostly so it's up to date and um and then we'll see how match day 30 goes so if you are watching and you haven't given your prediction please kindly comment on this video or look out for the community post under the community tab on the youtube page and uh we will put that up tomorrow and just kindly comment over there it helps the algorithm. It helps the channel get a little bit of activity going on. So shout out to you. Shout out to Mental Ball Game, especially for playing this game for the first time today. And also Joe Blackman for playing it for the first time today. Yala says, this must be the largest bowl of fried rice I've ever seen. It's double the size of the waitress head. Yay, Yale! Do not get us into talking about food. I'm going to get fired if you do that. <laughs> but enjoy your rice, brother. Enjoy your rice. Hopefully it's not Declan. You saw what I did there, Ronald. It's kind of a funny joke, no? No. Yeah, I mean, I love it's it. It's like, he's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah love. It's, it's okay. mid. It's, it's a Scott McTominay kind of joke. <laughs> it's still better than Ange Ball. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyway, guys, we are out of here. Make sure you, I'll say one more time, as Mark also just uh, put it in the uh, chat. Guys, Please come by and give Drex a like and a sub. Big shout out to you, Mark. Big shout out to Ronald and Munch and uh, you for being here. I appreciate you so much. As I said, we will be here this weekend. So big shout out to you for being here. I appreciate you. We out of here. Peace. Football power.